Off the gut they go with Gibbs. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. Super. Again, it's Gibbs. And they had that one contained right at the line. That was Devondre Campbell making the tackle. Third and long for him here. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. What a play on third and 13, and this drive will indeed continue. New set of downs for him from the 46. Straight ahead with Gibbs. And they stop him after a good run that takes him down inside the 40. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. Another one for Gibbs. And this defense offering no room at all up the gut there. No gain. Diamador Lenore there on the stop. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here's Gibbs on the carry. And he's able to get this down to the 36. A pickup of two, maybe three. But most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. First down, ball at the 36. On the ground, it's a give to Gibbs. This is ahead for about five. Nick Bosa makes the stop. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. Goff working from the pistol. Finds Laporta. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And it's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. Couple of zeros on the board right now. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. We're all set to bring you the second quarter. Lions well within striking distance. On first down, they'll run with Montgomery. And he will get this to the end zone for a Detroit touchdown. The Lions get the game's first points here in the second. David Montgomery with the touchdown. For the offense, you gotta love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get out of the way, big time. Now it's Jake Bates for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Fox now to kick this one away.
Returning it from the four. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. Got first down from the 31. Here we go, set! Receiver in motion, headed right. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Mm, 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 mm. That is teaching tape for a linebacker. Read, react, and finish. Here we go, here we go. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. Reaches the 40. Inside the 20. And he will score. It's a San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers finish up their opening drive. Well, Brock, they could prove me wrong, but I don't think touchdowns are going to come that easily the rest of this game. But starting out, we all welcome the quick score. Yeah, not a lot of energy exerted, right? Not a lot of their cards shown just yet. They only got a couple plays into their strategy, and they found pay dirt. A lot of mystery still to come with what they're going to do schematically. And a lot of answers have to be found defensively. And he gets in. The two-point try puts him in front by one. Eight to seven. to kick it away. Here's Moody. And no return as this bounces through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten now from the 30. Here's a gift to Gibbs. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Diamador Lenore there on the stop. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. They've got a man in motion. This is Gibbs on second down. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. A dose of the hurry up offense here. He's on the move. So it's the two minute warning here from the home of the faithful. The Lions driving ahead. Looking confident, but they need four here on fourth down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, lift, lift, lift. Man in motion here. We're good, we're good. They'll go for it, go off. That's incomplete on fourth down, and they'll turn over possession. Do you think maybe, just maybe, there's a chance of having too much confidence offensively? That's not a spot you want to see a team going for it on fourth down. And now it puts their defense right on the hook to try and pick them up after that miscue on fourth. First down, ball at the 36. Hand off now to the receiver. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. You know, for pitchers, you know, you'll hear them say, gosh, you got to pitch this guy backwards. For defenses, you got to do the same at times, Kate. You just can't always run it on first. You got to mix in some high percentage pass plays. Otherwise, 
you're going to get hit right in the face for a loss just like that. And it's a really nice gain on the reverse. That call came at the perfect time. It's a pickup of 26. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. Gosh, I love that creativity of the play call. The name of the game is putting the ball in the hands of your best, your playmakers, creating matchups for them to take advantage. And this time, not as a receiver, but as a runner. That is job well done. The drive picks up here, first and 10. They go right back to him. Another carry for the receiver. And he has this one down to the eight-yard line. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Let's go. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. San Francisco calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Back to the well again. And he tried to power it forward, but I don't think he got it. Now the offense going to take its third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Less than a yard needed here on fourth. This one stopped at the three-yard line. They went for it and got the four yards they needed, and that keeps this drive alive. Come on now. Was there any doubt who they were going to go to right there? That was always going to be a run play. And no problem converting on fourth. That brings us to halftime. We'll get a break as our teams make their adjustments and then return with more of the NFL on EA Sports in just a little bit. Back from the break, I'm Kate Scott, joined by Brock Heward, and we are just moments away from the beginning of our second half. Fox now to kick this one away. This return starts at the five. This return makes it up to the 25. Get this drive started. First and ten. Ready, ready. Ready. Working out of the gun. It's Purdy. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Brian Branch has it. And the Lions take over just inside the 40. They're at the opposing 39. And it doesn't matter who gets that ball to start the second half because he picks it off on the very first play. I wonder at halftime, down there in that locker room on the whiteboard, if that defensive coaching staff just said simply, go get the ball. <laughs> it's exactly what they do, and it totally changes the complexion of this second half. Running out of the gun with Montgomery. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. And this one doesn't go far. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a 
play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. So now here's third and five. Kill, kill, kill. Two for one, two for two. Montgomery gets it from the gun. And this is down to the 28th before the defense halts it. They get six and a first down as well. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Cut. Hey, kill, kill! DC, DC, two up. On first down, it's gone. That's complete to the back, David Montgomery. And he gets him around six there. Brought down by Fred Warner. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. From the 22 on second down. Throw complete to Williams. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Diamador Lenore there on the stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Slot man motioned over. Goff now on third down. It's inside the 10. And he's going to take this in. Touchdown, Detroit! The Lions grab the lead on their first series of the half. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined-looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied, and they're able to score and take the lead. The Lions offense looks like they're staying out there. We got a two-point try coming up. Super. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Brown. They send St. Brown in motion Brown. left. Throwing again. It's gone. This is caught. And he reaches the end zone, so they'll be up to a seven-point lead. Well, not the way they drew it up, partner, but uh, when it works, who cares? They didn't defend the check down throw, and it's open for two. I could still remember one of my first red zone days way back when. Touchdown to check down. Touchdown to check down. Now, I know it's not a touchdown, but this check down, well, it was a valuable two points. Fox now to kick this one away. Kickoff taken at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Couple defenders there and they're going to intercept it. That's Carlton Davis. And the Lions have the football back at the 45. Okay, Brock, now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's got to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. And he's able to get it past midfield and down onto the 49er side. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. What? 
Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's Lions ball as they try to keep that lead and close out a win. Second and three now. Hey, kill, kill! What's that? They'll go right side with Gibbs. Runs inside the 35. There it is! Touchdown, Detroit! The Lions go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. So great work by the running back there, Brock. Found just a little bit of space, and he took advantage all the way for six. Big time. I mean, so big time. You know, and it, it, you hear running back coaches, Kate, say this. They'll say, slow to explode mm -hmm. through. And he explodes all the way for the touchdown. Fox now to kick this one away. Samuel now to return it. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Tag. Look at this, the wideout gets it to start this drive. And they're gonna drag him down after a decent gain. He gets up to the 36. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. This is one of those real modest gains, Kate, that I like as a call. That's just a little more variety to your playbook. Makes that defense wonder. Those guys on the other side of the ball think a little bit. This dude's not just a receiver. He may get in the run game as well. Second and six coming up here. From the 36. Left side, backs there, cut! And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Excellent pick up to move the chains, 36 yards in the end. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and 10. Hand off now from the gun. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Here we go, here we go. Shotgun snap for Purdy. He has it at the five! He has the San Francisco touchdown! So the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. So now, massive moment coming up for the 49ers as they go for two. They want to run it across. 
And he reaches the end zone. That conversion cuts the lead down to five. Worked so well the first time. Hey, why not go right back to it? See if you can be successful again. They do, and they are. I like the way you say that right there, Kate, because you almost feel the confidence, right? Like, if you get it the first time, you're almost playing with house money. Even if you fail, it's still 14 points. It's not really a failure. And if you get it, well, you gain even more confidence and make that opponent think that much more. And no luck. The Lions there to recover. No question they wanted the ball back late, but you don't see many of these recovered by the kicking team in the NFL. You see even fewer recovered when they're actually expecting it, like they certainly were right there. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Super! Now Gibbs, and he's caught behind the line for a loss. We've gotten whistles and a timeout call by the defense. 2.07 left to play. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. Super 66. Two, two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Shell. Shell. Maverick. Maverick. Shot. Shotgun snap here to go. Short pass brought in. And he's going to be drugged down. Looks like at that 37 yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that gives the Lions the first. Markers reset, ball at the 37. What hell you want? Williams with a quick pass out wide. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there. And that'll be first down Detroit. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. All right, set now. First and ten. right is Gibbs and he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels here it's Montgomery and he'll only find one yard up the gut second down San Francisco calls it second timeout and they'll have just one left to burn now hey I get it on first and goal right a lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk even if a run is stopped short you still got two sometimes three downs to play with Montgomery can't fight past that line. They stop him at the three. The 49ers will call their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively 
to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. So now, here's third and goal. Value three, value three. Thermos. Montgomery. And the defense was ready. They got him at the line. Three straight runs, stop short of the end zone, and now what do they do on fourth and goal? When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. So they're going to go ahead and call the timeout here. Only three seconds left in the game. haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Fourteen. Fourteen. Two for one. Motioning one of the tight ends. Here we go with Montgomery. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So the Lions get the win on the road. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. It's a win for the Lions, as we'll see you next time from Santa Clara.